TYT Sports, everybody. It's uh, Ben Mankiewicz uh, along with uh, Evan Paley and uh, Franny Max, Francis <laughs> Maxwell. Uh, uh, welcome. So here's the deal. The World Cup in Brazil seems to be going off uh, fairly well if all you care about is the World Cup. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that uh, it was, there's a big protest uh, plan today in Sao Paulo. It's supposed to be very big of, again, sort of regular Brazilians or poor Brazilians realizing that none of this ever trickles down to them. Yeah. Uh, and now we, uh, two years from now, 2016, Brazil hosts the Summer Olympics. Uh, and they are not nearly ready, no. it would appear. Now, obviously, as you get clear, Everybody's ready when it happens, but uh, Brazil is. Uh, how we, you'd read that 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 great that London was what at about forty percent ready London two years was out. Forty percent ready where where Brazil is today, and they're at ten percent. And you've got a country that is absolutely hurting. I mean, economically, in two thousand seven, when they when they won the bids for both the uh, World Cup and the Olympics, you had a country that was economically stable with natural resources flowing in China, Asia, putting millions, if not billions of dollars into the country. And, and then all of a sudden, those resources are gone. So you have a country that not only has a lack of funding, but is putting all of the funding in inappropriate places like building 12 stadiums instead of eight, which yeah. was FIFA's given regulation, eight stadiums. And then building stadiums like Manaus, which is a $270 million project in the middle of the Amazon that's going to be used by no one right. after the games. The, the team that plays there now gets about 4,000 yeah. fans a game. It's inaccessible yeah. by road. Yeah. Just so boat. if you want to go to a game there, paddle down, paddle down the river. Right, you got to you take a swim fucking it. chopper. <laughs> yeah. Guanabara Bay in Rio won't be ready in time, so the sailing won't be there. And we, I don't know if we have a, this photo of it, but I'm looking at this photo online. We'll put it up. Uh, it's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. No, um, and uh, and he says, I'm sorry, we didn't get to, uh, we didn't use the games to get Guanabara Bay completely clean. But that wasn't for the Olympic Games, although they said it was. Uh, that was for us. This was not something. Uh, that that was something that we could not accomplish. That was in the bid book, so they can't do it. At least they're admitting it. And the good thing about the games, one would hope, is that it has to be better than what FIFA does. Is that there may be some leftover money and benefit for regular Brazilians after the games. I don't know whether the International Olympic Committee uh, exhibits the same degree of thievery that FIFA does. A great quote here mm. uh, from NBC News that just came out earlier today. It's, it's best described as a sea of sewage, uh, the Rio's Olympic Bay. So much of the waste of Rio pours into the bay every day untreated, thousands of gallons an hour, and nothing the city has done has helped clean this place up. It's not just disgusting, it's frightening. The problems in Brazil are rampant. Just over a year ago, there were those significant protests in Brazil about the World Cup and yeah. the Olympics. One day, more than a million people took to the streets to protest it. And you just get the sense, and I guess it's obvious, it's not even a sense, that very little of this money is going to trickle down and help regular Brazilians. Obviously, it'll be great for contractors, it'll be great for the wealthy, for the powerful. And it's a shame that this, because one of the reasons, you know, I'm not, as you guys know, I'm, I'm not a soccer fan. Yeah. But I become one at this time of year because you don't. If you're a serious sports fan, if you watch a lot of sports, it's not that hard to pick up yeah. what's happening in this game. It's the, one of the great things about it is you can see pretty clearly what they're trying to do. Obviously, could learn more. You get it, and you get into it. And one of the reasons you get into it is because the people care so much. Exactly. And it's not yeah. kings and princes who yeah. cares. It's people. people. It's kids yeah. who play it every day, and you see these fans and people watching, and you know, and gathering in, in massive city squares yeah. to right. watch these games themselves. I mean, this is this is the people's game. This belongs to the people, and some people get to get a little rich off it. I got it, but this has got to be filtered out better. And and it doesn't. It, no one is making an effort to make that happen. Let me read something real quick from Dave Zirin before we go. He's yeah. talking. To, he was in, in Brazil. This is before the World Cup again. Mm -hmm. Literally a five-minute walk. He says from Maracana Stadium, the Sistine Chapel of international football, is a place called Favela do Metro. It was the home of 700 families. Now it's the home of zero families. No one lives there anymore. And the people were removed for the purposes of a parking lot. And to add insult to injury, the parking lot never got built. So now it's just rubble, rats, waste, everything like that. And these were once people's homes. So, and I, and I have no doubt that that exists throughout Brazil. And that there's, you know, and, and, and now we got the, and it's gonna happen again. And we got the, I mean, it's another opportunity yeah. for Brazil to reach out. And maybe it's not, they don't have to give the, the, the $33 billion that's come in for both of these events, they don't have to give that money that 
to hand it out to people, yeah, but you create organizations that make things better, and yeah. you you increase your social safety net. You provide social services to people. You get people living in slums into livable situations uh, for them and their families. But that seems unlikely to happen. It wouldn't happen here. I don't suspect it'll happen in Brazil.